Okay, looks complete. What can I use this for? Okay, time to place some pins.
This is one of the sounding numbers Magnus was looking for. That's done. Check. Haven't done that. Check. Did that. That's done. Did that. Did that. Still have to do that. Did that. That's done. Is there anything more you haven't told me about, Magnus? No. Guess you'll have to leave now. You know him better than anyone. I don't believe that for an instant. I need your help, Elizabeth. I need to know what you know. Hmm. He is... quiet. Thoughtful. Keenly obsessive. First over his dog, then over his writing, then over me, then over the ship. Why would someone like him be hunting for gold in the first place? He has certain intentions with the treasure. Which were? A boat of his own. He desperately wants to leave town, leave Eastland. I thought he was a captain already. Oh, he is, but for wealthy people, private clients. Never his own boat, never his own destination. He dreams of living like the old captains, sailing wherever the wind takes him. I see, so the treasure would allow him to fulfill that dream. Here, have this. Magnus left it at my place. After we broke up, he called me looking for it, but I hid it. It looks like it might be the key to open some kind of box, but I've never seen any box like that before. I don't know why I kept it for myself. Maybe I wanted to see whatever it was he saw in this hunk of driftwood. Thanks, Elizabeth. I'm going to get to the bottom of this mess. So, what's behind the mystery door? Just an old broom closet. Can I see? No. Oh, not even a hint? Go away! I didn't think it was possible to be this cold. Can't you go inside? They keep asking people to fix this broken heater so I can watch over my ship. You know what Gunnar told me? Freeze for all I care. He is the worst human being. Maybe I can help you out with that heater then. Do you know how to do... machine things? I've picked up a few things. I don't care what they say. You're okay, Nancy Drew. So we're gonna do this middle management style. That is, you do the work and I supervise. Each of those circuit pieces will attach anywhere on this board, but there are special numbers you've gotta watch out for. Covered numbers add together to give that piece a total value. If you can use all five pieces to hit all five target values, the heater will be fixed. Hmm, you know, I'm actually not sure that's how electricity works. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay. Where'd you get your PhD in electricitology again? If you know this much, why haven't you tried to fix it yet? Hey, if I had to do all the hard thinking around here, you'd be out of a job. So, where'd you come from? The United States. Hey, me too. Where in the U.S.? South-ish. I'd just like to get to know you a little. I went to school, and then I had a job, and then I was married, and then I wasn't. And now I have another job involving definitely legal treasure hunting activities. That's me. Are you like this with everyone? 
anyone who isn't paying me. If you want to write me a check, I can tell you a sad backstory and we both can pretend it's real. Sorry, I left my checkbook at the lodge. <laughs> Maybe next time then. I mean, are you an open book with every stranger who crosses your path? Well, no. I guess I don't like to talk about myself much either. What's your jam? Witness protection program? Arch nemesis? None of those. I guess it's that I meet so many interesting people, I just feel <laughs> ordinary by comparison. Nah, everyone's normal to themselves. People think my job is all glam and adrenaline, but that all got boring years ago. Now it's just nine to five headache involving lots of diplomacy and occasional gunfire. But you? A gal your age working as a sleuth? All on your own? That's admirable. <laughs> Thanks. I guess this is my normal. I'm a pretty lucky girl. Anyways, it's probably for the best that you stay quiet. Don't talk to strangers, kiddo. It's worked out for me. That was the strangest wiring panel I've ever seen. But I think the heat's on. <sighs> Toasty. Feels just like home. By the by, have you been up to Magnus's cabin yet? He has a cabin? Up in the hills? Elizabeth keeps a key in her bag. Talk about refusing to let go. But there's no way she'd ever give it to you. So, I'll need to find a way to get her off that deck. If I were you, I'd get a little sneaky about it. So, how long were you working on the ship project? About two years. On and off a bit. Magnus supervised the rebuild. I provided the cash. And that's a long time to hang around in Iceland. Have you been in Skip Brought all that time? Ha! <laughs> no. I think the locals would have offed me by now if that were the case. I don't like to stay in one place for too long. Why's that? If you stay in one place, people start to need you and feel things about you and all that icky, weird stuff. I'm not really the having friends type. I'd like to think you and I are on friendly terms. What is this? Are we gonna hold hands and sing campfire songs now? <laughs> Get lost, Drew. Find my gold. I found a radio on board, but I need a key to turn it on. Can I borrow yours? Here you go. Hey, that was easy. Now, how do I operate the thing? I don't know. I don't have radio experience. I have business experience. Figures. Well, thanks anyway. Later. Bye now. Check. Oh, hello there. What's your relationship like with Elizabeth? Presently quite poor. She won't allow certain, um, members of the restoration team to access their work. You mean Dagny? Yes, but overall, she's quite a peach, that one. The only one who's ever shown me kindness. Truly a shame about her and Magnus, though. Her and Magnus? The force of their romantic split rocked the local mountains to their very core. I wonder if he's checked his voicemail since. <laughs> Goodbye. Well, on with it.
Hmm. It's out of gas. No dice. Good day. Hi there. I'm investigating a recent disappearance. My name's Nancy Drew. Speak up, girl. My name's Nancy Drew. Louder! I said my name's Nancy Drew. Mind your ship flag and temper. Looks like we got a real angry one here. Name's Gunnar, but you can call me Gunnar. The skip is my home. Oh... <sighs> Did you know Magnus? Sure did. Never liked him. Any reason you didn't like him? He was too tall, too poetic, too cry into your guitar and mourn for the sea. Always quiet, always thinking, too soft, beard too short, coat too long, eyelashes too full. So I take it you weren't friends. Gunnar doesn't need friends. Already I have two, mug and chair. Did Magnus ever say anything about the treasure? I uh, might have. Don't remember? No, I, I have a very good memory. Go away. I just want to get to the bottom of this. Don't care, don't want trouble. Did you attend the festival this year? Yes. Embarrassing. For you? No, everyone else. The scrambling around for hidden treasure? Embarrassing. When I was all young, we fought over things like longest fish and shiniest boat, not gold. Ever since that sword took over the festival running, it's been straight to the bottom with it. I heard you've had problems with the festival the last couple of years. Care to talk about that? The festival is not what it once was. I'll return things to the old ways no matter how many buckets of hot tar I have to dump. Some of the harbor boats still have holes in their bottoms. I see. Did you have a plan like that for this year, too? Elizabeth said no more trouble or she kicks me out of the skip. I only pay with an angry sheep. What does that mean? Means I do it, but I don't like it. Are you a sailor? Was. Long ago. I gave up the sea for good, and I'll never sail again. You still look like a sailor to me. What does a sailor look like? It's a certain quality. I can't quite place it. Worn? Broken? Bitter? The sea chewed me up and spat me back out, and I lost everything in her waves. You are too delicate. I bet you'd not last one minute against some of the gales I've sailed. I'm finding that these days, I'm surprisingly hard to kill. Well, we'll see about that, detective, won't we? I hate the water. Hate the smell of it, the sound of it, won't ever return. So, about your fingers. My lucky tree? <laughs> is that what you call them? Sure is. It's a long story. Now, there I was. Out in the peach black of night, with no sign of shore and only my fishing spear. Then suddenly, I saw a shadow. It was a mighty squid, the greatest hunter of them all. Few men have lived to see it and tell the tale. So I pulled out my spear, just a little too fast, mind you. And that's how you lost your fingers? <laughs> of course not! I threw the spear right overboard and I hauled that fellow into my net. Took all my weight just to keep him from wriggling free, but his strength proved too much for me. He gnashed his giant beak and, well, I was done for. So the squid took your fingers? No, 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 no! 
Right as I thought I was dead, a massive shark leapt out of the waves and ate the squid. It was the sleeper shark, a solid six meters long with four rows of teeth. He bit my arm and pulled me under as I gasped for my last breath. So it was a shark then? No! I, I managed to punch him in the nose. You, you ever fight a shark? You know how to punch him in the nose? He, he let me go, I swam like a merman and made it back to shore. Three months later, I was in a wood shop accident. Rope my fingers clean off. Aha. Uh -huh. At least it makes for a great story. How do you know Elizabeth? I've known her since she was a negative pre-glimmer in her puppy's eye. Always had the local boys terrified, that one. She knows what she wants and heads for it straight as an arrow. Young men, <laughs> not so good with a woman like that. I can see how she might be intimidating, but her heart's in the right place. Aye, but right now, she wants revenge on Magnus, angrier than a bull seal on a full moon. Still, she lets me sleep and eat her, so that's worth something. Did you know about her and Magnus? <laughs> we all did, my fiskur. From the sound of things, it didn't end very well, unfortunately. Magnus is good with waves, bad with women. No skills to speak of. He is, um, how do you say it? Uh, a runner. He runs. Ouch. I'm glad he's not here to hear that. I was bitten by a shark once. Now I can only speak the truth. Oh, I didn't know that was a side effect of shark bites. It is a curse I bear with pride. Have you met Dagny? Who? Huh? She's a woman involved with the Hirlik High's restoration. Brown hair, about yay high. Ah, a tough little mink of a woman. Not bad in my book. Did you see her the day of the ship crash? Yeah, she was there, but I paid no attention to the mink. Later. Be gone with you. Gunnar, I need your help in the pub while I watch the ship. Can you serve customers tonight? <laughs> Wouldn't need the help if you'd leave the blasted ship alone for a night. I need to stay on board. That means you need to pull your weight for once. I won't leave my chair for no tourist. If they want a drink, they can use the tap themselves. Their hands ain't broken. Can't you leave well enough alone and come back to the skip girl? The ship isn't going anywhere. It's crashed. I just... I have something I still need to do. Of course you'd be selfish about helping me. Just like always. Are you hiding something now, girl? Something you're keeping from old you and I? Ugh! Fine! Sit there in that stupid chair for all I care! There'll be no service at the Misty Skip tonight! Happy now? I probably shouldn't be back there. story about me? Written by Sunny June? Haven't seen him in a while. This is so neat. I wish I could play these. It's subtle, but I see some differences in the halves of this pattern.